Number 84. What is the effect on the concentration of acetic acid, hydronium ion, and acetate ion when the following are added to an acidic buffer solution of equal concentrations of acetic acid and sodium acetate? Okie dokie. So basically we just have to figure out what's going on with the acetic acid, hydronium ion, and acetate ion uh, when we add HCl. Now, they did state that we started off with equal amounts of acetic acid and sodium acetate. So the first thing is, is let's just list out what these are, right? Acetic acid is a pretty important acid to know in general chemistry, right? It comes from the, um, it comes from the polyatomic acetate, right? From all the way back in Gen Chem, right? Acetate is C2, H3O2, right? That's a, always a negative one charge. And if now we're saying that it's acetic acid, you just add that hydronium ion to it, right? So H plus. So basically, you know, the plus and the minus should be swapped. So basically, if we just combine all this together, acetic acid would be, maybe I'll write this in red, H, C2, H3O2. Now they're saying that we have this and sodium acetate. Now, sodium acetate is a salt, right? It's a salt because it's a ionic compound. Salts are just ionic compounds in disguise, right? It consists of sodium, which is in group one, so that's a positive one. Acetate, just like we said, was the C2H3O2 minus. So when you combine these two, you get NaC2H3O2. But now, if I just erase this. Now, since we did say that the sodium acetate was a salt, you have to figure out which one of these components is the actual acidic or basic property of it. But since sodium, right, the Na, basically comes from NaOH, and NaOH is one of my six strong bases, the conjugate which is what we have, just the sodium, is so, 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 so weak that it's basically classified as neutral. So in this case, I don't care about the sodium. The only thing that I care about is the acetate ion. And that's why they only ask for what's going on with the acetate ion. So I'm just going to kind of get rid of this. And we only care about the acetate. Okay, now we just have to write a balanced equation describing acetic acid with the acetate, right? And it's easy to always start with acids first because you could always just break them down. So in this case, I'm just going to say, okay, we have H, C2, H3, O2. And since that's a weak acid, it's not one of my six strong, it's aqueous. It is a weak acid, so it has to have the equilibrium lines here. Um, and then just break off that hydrogen, right? Into H+. Plus and the acetate. So we have H plus aqueous plus C2 H3 O2 minus. And there you go. That's our balanced equation. We're going to be using this equation for uh, all of the rest of, uh, you know, the letterings for number 84. So it's, it's basically just going to come down to this equation. So now we're adding HCl. Well, HCl is one of our six strong acids, right? HCl, if we split this up, it splits right down the middle between H plus and Cl minus. Hopefully, we can match one ion in here that links to our balanced equation. And in this case, it's the hydronium ion, right? The H in HCl is the hydronium ion H plus which is right here. So if we can say that we increase the amount of HCl, technically we're increasing the amount of H+. So when we come over here, I know that the HCl has to be increasing. So we asked, we answered one question already, right? So basically the H plus the hydronium ion concentration is going to increase. What's the effect? It's going to increase. Hydronium ion will increase. 
Now we just have to know what's going on with the acetic acid and the acetate ion. So let's just write that out. So we need to know what's going on with HC2H3O2. And we also need to know what's going on with the C2H3O2 minus. Now this goes back to Le Chatelier's principle, right? Remember, any time that you add something, you always shift to the other side. You have way too much of the H+, so you want to make more of the other side. So, since we're adding on the product side, that means that the general shift is going to be to the reactants, which means that in that case, the acetic acid will also have to increase. So I know that answer. And then vice versa, if this increases, the acetate would have to decrease to compromise, right? If you're going to the reactants, you're getting rid of your products. So the acetate ion would have to decrease. And maybe I'll just put this over here and I'll just highlight it because now that's all the answers for this one. So hydronium ion would increase because that's literally adding HCl. We're favoring the reactant side, so the, the acetic acid has to increase, and then the acetate has to be lower. And that's it. Hope for this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Hang tight because letter B is coming your way, and we'll get to answering that in a little bit, okay? I will talk to you later. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.